Okay, this video is about a new Godot 3.2 plugin that I am working on. The whole idea of this plugin is to be able to take these arbitrary kind of 3D uh, shapes that are meant to be modular, uh, put together like Legos in a sense, um, but don't always quite fit nicely within Godot's uh, grid map. So what I have here is a Blender file that I have put. Uh, I've got three different road segments that I have created, a straight, straight away and then one that kind of goes up a hill a little bit and then a curve and I have already imported that those uh, models individually into uh, Godot as you'll see here so there you go and one of the things that I want to be able to focus on in this plugin is I, I really want to be able to like snap these these uh, straightaways together um, now I just happened to in the modeling program kind of create this I know where the vertex is because I've changed the color uh, however if that wasn't the case you you would go to display wireframe and kind of find your vertex based on that wireframe um, and and then kind of you, you know you'd have to like snap it together by the wireframe and and that's not easy to do in Godot because uh, there are several um, suggestions or uh, requests out there to make the wireframe like a single color so that it always stands out from the background. Um, Godot currently lights the wireframes and uses the material and it really makes it difficult at times to be able to see the wireframe in contrast to the background. So what I've done here is to kind of mitigate that is I'm going to create a new inherited scene from the model and then what you do with this plugin is you hold the control button down and hover near the vertex on the selected object and then uh, press the middle mouse button. And you'll notice it puts a nice little uh, magenta uh, sphere there. And I'm just going to go around this model real quick and do that same thing. And all I got to do is get it like relatively close and then click and you'll notice it puts the uh, those little points there. And so then I would go ahead and I'd save that out to a, a, a Godot scene. But I've already done that in this case. So here is the straight road section. And then we have the curve section that does the same thing. So you can see the, the magenta spheres that have been put in place. Um, the spheres are not necessary for this plugin. It, do, it doesn't do anything but provide you a visual cue, again, as to where you want to uh, select the vertice. Um, and then here is the road straight. Oh, no, that's the DAE. Uh, road straight up. Here we go. And you can see I placed the magentas there. So I've already been working on uh, a scene here. Let's see if I can find it. Ah, that's okay. Let, let's go ahead and create a new one. So I'll show you how easy this is. So create a new 3D scene. And we're going to copy the road straight in here. Oh, well, that's straight up. That's okay. We'll save it for later. Road straight. Here we go. Okay. So now what I can do is... select the object that I want to snap and so first I select my source and I route or I hold the shift button down right mouse click near that magenta sphere and that basically uh, establishes my source uh, and then over in this dock window you'll notice that you can match the object scale rotation um, it's X Y or Z and then the vertex, and most of the time I, you probably will be matching the, or snapping to the vertex, but let's say, for example, this uh, x-axis here. If I just wanted to take this road section and make sure that the x's were aligned, so let's say I move it over here, then all I have to do is right mouse click, or uh, hold the shift button down, right mouse click uh, near that magenta sphere, and then come over... Um, 
to your next selected object. And this time you'll hold control. Control always means take action uh, in this plugin. So uh, since I want to match the, um, I think it was the X again, yeah, the X, then you just hold control and right mouse click on that magenta. And now you'll see that the X's are aligned. Okay, but what we really want to do here is snap. So come back over to the source, right mouse click, or shift, right mouse click near the magenta sphere, and then uh, take your next object and make sure that you are over on vertex snapping and that's control right mouse click and we just snap that piece in place so now I can go ahead and let's add a curve and you don't have to even like you can see how this kind of came in arbitrary now what we do want to do is I, it accidentally added it to the uh, straight up there um, we want to make sure we're not parented to that node but come back over here this is going to be our source shift right mouse click on the sphere make sure vertex snap and control right mouse click and we're snapped we're in place and then i can even take a copy of this let's say i want to rotate it And do the same thing here. Shift, right mouse click, control, right mouse click, and we're snapped. Let's make a copy of the hill here. There we go. I missed the hill. How am I doing that? <laughs> okay. Right one. There we go. Transform. And this will be my source. So shift, right mouse click. Control, right mouse click. There we go. I just went up and down and around a curve. So that's a very quick demonstration of the uh, the plugin. Um, again, uh, it's meant to you, you can match the rotation of an object uh, x. You can match the x, the y, and the z's independently of each other. Uh, the scale you can match. Um, however, I do warn uh, right now the plugin does not normalize colliders on subscenes and and whatnot. So if you my recommendation is that uh, you make sure that these uh, pieces that you're going to snap together are all ready to this to the like the normalized scale on on the colliders um, before putting them together if, if you don't have colliders in place that you need to worry about maybe it's just something that you're doing like artistic in the background and whatnot um, then that doesn't matter uh, you can go ahead and you scale all you want but that's it I uh, I have made the code available on GitHub. I have not created a, an asset library item yet. Um, it's still a little rough around the edges, but uh, I definitely think that it's at a stage where uh, it can begin to be used. And uh, I hope I hope you find this tool useful. The link to the uh, GitHub repository is below. So uh, please go out there and snag it and play around with it and see if you can maybe even help make it better. Thank you.